Pistel X68 CO2 chamber mods examined. In this video, I'm going to be comparing CO2 chamber mods from various sources to see how significant they affect the power of the launcher. Hello, this is Glenn Conti with Less Lethal Ballistics. And um, as you may or may not know, I am a dealer for the Pistel, an authorized dealer for the Pistel X68 launcher. So uh, I've got a lot of interest in uh, these tuning chambers to see how well that will um, improve the performance of the Pistel. So um, I have um, three of them here. Uh, this is the one from Sterling Self-Defense. This is the one from Home Defense 24. And this is one that I designed and made. Um, uh, the theory behind these is um, you increase the amount of gas that gets released into the breech to drive the ball, the, the projectile, so that you can uh, increase the number of joules that, uh, that the launcher produces. So um, basically these uh, tuning chambers, this gets removed and the tuning chamber with the fi that has a built-in firing pin, here's the firing pin, with O-rings, each has an O-ring, and um, the gas comes out and then sits behind the firing pin. You pull the trigger, the spring momentarily releases, and the gas gets driven through the breech to the barrel. So, um, I um, wanted to investigate how good these... Um, these um, uh, tuning chambers are. Um, uh, there, there's, a, there's differences. Uh, here's the Sterling Self-Defense one has, um, it's, um, it's got a stouter firing pin and it has this lip to um, supposedly align the firing pin better so you'll get less leaks uh, out of your pistol. The um, Home Defense 24 has a um, less stout firing pin and um, it has no lip. Um, the, um, now, um, I was um, required to, uh, to make my own uh, mod. I tried to become a dealer for Sterling Self-Defense and I didn't want to be a Home Defense 24 dealer because um, they um, are in Germany. So, um, um, because I um, needed to, I wanted to investigate these uh, tuning chambers for the Pistel X68. I actually had one made. This is a prototype. Um, here's the firing pin, um, no lip. But what I did instead is I have a sealing screw with a built-in O-ring to mount the firing pin to the chamber. And um, um, what it does is you loosen this, you ins install the uh, chamber into the pistol, pistol, and um, uh, you can loosen the screw and then tighten the screw. And because the hole in the chamber is slightly different than the shaft of the screw, the um, this firing pin should align into the back well without the need for a lip. That's the theory in any case. 
So um, here's your standard. Here's my prototype. Here's the Sterling self-defense and that's the home, home 24. So um, um, what follows is a test of the um, various situations or configurations to see which provides the best number of joules. Um, um, so that follows. Thank you. Stock Pistel Gen 2. Three twelve. Three oh four. Okay, that's it. Gen two Pistel X sixty eight with the less lethal ballistics CO2 chamber mod. Okay, here's the Gen 2, same Gen 2 Pistel X68 with the Sterling Self-Defense Mods. Three ten. Three oh eight. Three oh four. Okay, here we have a Gen Two, the same Gen Two Pistol X sixty eight, but this time with the Home Defense twenty four mods. Three thirty eight, three twenty two. So here we have the four different setups the stock adapter got an average of 314.67 for 39.56 joules. The less lethal ballistics adapter did the same exact thing, 314.67 feet per second on average with 39.56 joules. The Sterling self-defense did an average of 307.33 feet per second for um, joules of 37.73 and the home defense 24 did an average of 326 feet per second for joules of 42.46 or a total of 
7.3% better than the stock device. So what explains this situation? Where, uh, where regardless of the capacity of the um, uh, tuning chamber, uh, we, um, we get no difference in the joule output of the launcher. It could be that when the trigger is pulled, it wouldn't matter how much or how little the, the tuning chamber is because it's so briefly opened that only a certain amount of gas enters the breech to drive the uh, projectile down the barrel. So um, the capacity of the, um, of the tuning chamber is irrelevant. So is it worth it, 200 bucks to get three more jewels? Doesn't seem like a good value. So what we just saw is that the less lethal ballistics CO2 mod um, performed just as well, the same identically as the stock pistol cap. Um, not, not a value. Uh, the uh, Sterling self-defense uh, performed less well than the stock cap. Not a value. And the Home Defense 24 adapter performed about 7% better than the cap. So, but are you willing to spend 200 bucks or to get that 7% difference? It looks like there's two options here. One, definitely go with a longer barrel. You get, it's cheap and you get a lot more jewels. And the second option is to go with an HPA adapter that plugs into where the piercing cap is. Leave the stock cap there and go in with an angled HPA adapter into the Pistel um, handle of the, of the launcher. Um, but uh, any comments would be greatly appreciated. I want to know what every, everybody else is seeing here. Thank you.